welcome back to my channel. So today I have another lounge fly haul for you guys. But before we begin, let me remind you that subscribing is 100% free, so please click that subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and click that notification bell so that you're notified every time that I post. I will be posting every single week, so trust me, you don't want to miss out. All right, so just like last time, I did end up buying another backpack from Mercari. All right, but this time I did haggle, I did. I learned my lesson, but this backpack has been a lounge fly backpack I have been wanting since it came out, like how many ever years ago. This was one of my like holy grail backpacks, I guess. I don't know. Um, I think that's the terminology. Anyways, uh, I finally found it on Mercari and I'm obsessed with him. I love him. He's, I kept waiting every single year for them to bring him back and they never did. And so I just, I bit the bullet and bought him off of Mercari. And here he is. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's Santa Mickey. And there is literally no other lounge fly like him. Uh, um, in my previous video, I did say that I am going to focus on only getting backpacks that I truly, truly love. I'm not just going to be collecting just for, you know, the sake of collecting. I'm going to only get backpacks that I have been obsessing over. And this backpack, I mean, I don't even know, like three years? I don't even know how long it's been. I finally got him and he's almost perfect, almost. Okay, so uh, on Mercari, just, just be aware you're buying things from, you know, strangers online. Um, they may promise things that is not true, you know. Um, for example, this girl that I bought uh this backpack from she said that it was brand new um never been used um she just snipped off the tags because uh she was new to collecting and didn't know that would make a difference or whatever girl please <laughs> okay um this was used okay it was and it smelled like smoke it it smelled like smoke it was horrible but I mean at least it looked okay. There's still some like I don't even know what's in his little hair fuzz. But this was the only one where the price wasn't outrageous. So you know, I was like, okay, fine. And, but now I know why. But still. I mean, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Um but I mean, he still looks fine, which is why I was not too terribly mad about it, but don't promise things that, you know, like I know you used it because there was um like, uh, what's it called? Cough drop wrappers and stuff, like, stuck in there. Like, I mean, she didn't even, like, care to clean those out. <sighs> but anyways, so <sighs> that's my that's my little rant. But back to the backpack. Um, he is gorgeous. There is no other backpack that I have seen like him because there's, like, a velour finishing on him. Like, this is all velvety. It's amazing. It looks so luxurious. And then I love the metallic red straps <sighs> gorgeous and yeah those are hair ties this is how i <laughs> this is how i keep the um straps like that i'm just scared that it'll indent like making a, a little indent on the strap but so far it hasn't so i'll keep you posted but anyways his beard is all fluffy and his hat everything he has like a little belt here he has two side pockets on either side and uh let's see so this is like where the backpack ends and so there's like it protrudes a little bit, uh, which is totally fine. I think it's so cute. And let's see what the inside looks like. So the inside has all of these little snowflakes. Gorgeous. I mean, I love Christmas and I have been wanting a Christmas backpack since forever. And um, uh, my first lounge fly was the Mickey pumpkin backpack and I was like okay I just need one for Halloween and this is it this is going to be my Halloween lounge fly backpack and then I was like I have to have one for Christmas because I freaking love Christmas and there was just no other Christmas backpack Christmas lounge fly backpack that compared to this one in my opinion so that is why I was it was worth it to me so anyways I just love oh I love the red I just it's so Christmas I love it and around Christmas time all I want is just everything red that is my favorite color during that season just red and for the smoke smell it's almost it's almost all the way out actually so I, I guess just airing him out really helps um putting him out in the sun um I would be cautious about that because you don't want the sun to like 
possibly bleach the uh, backpack, whichever backpack you're um, trying to put out there. Uh, what I did personally was the dryer sheets. I took some dryer sheets, I rubbed it all over, and then I stuffed dryer sheets in here as well. And that has helped. So another suggestion I saw online was putting baking soda I think baking soda uh, all over and then vacuuming it off but I mean this is a uh, velour uh, material which you know it won't be pretty trying to vacuum baking soda off of this so that's why I just I tried um, dryer sheets and it worked so um, if this does have happen to you hopefully it doesn't hopefully you don't like you know you get it not smelling weird you know like smoke but um, if it does, try dryer sheets. And I do have another backpack to share with you guys, which I love just as much. I thought I would just be collecting like sequin lounge flies and like special lounge flies like this, but I saw this and I loved her as soon as I saw her. <sighs> oh my gosh. Anyways, um, so I got her off of uh, Mad Bagger, which I have mentioned in my previous videos. They are the only like lounge fly sellers that i know of that do refunds so i felt a little safer buying it from them so just in case something does go wrong then they will refund you refund you or give you store credit i don't know one of the two but either way i knew like i wouldn't be stuck with a bag that i didn't like but i love her <laughs> i love her um cinderella is my favorite like og princess and um and rapunzel is my favorite like newer princess if you know what i mean anyways i got her and i love her <laughs> and i have ears and uh, my whole outfit matches her because i love it oh my gosh it's gorgeous ever since i was little i was obsessed with the cinderella castle i was like when i grow up i'm definitely moving into a castle like that i, I didn't know that people don't do that but little me thought that that was going to be my house when i grew up Anyways, this is the closest uh, I will be getting, <laughs> um, but it's gorgeous. I love it. I love this art style. Um, you can see the fairy godmother here. You can see Gus Gus right here, which I love Gus Gus. And let's see the back. It says, a dream is a wish your heart makes. And this transformation, this um, animation is my all time favorite Disney animation ever. Like, I remember seeing it as a kid, and I was just, like, just mesmerized. And to this day, it's still my favorite Disney animation. I love her, when her dress just transforms, and oh my gosh, it's the most beautiful animation ever that Disney has ever done, in my opinion. And I, I love it. And I'm so glad that this backpack has that. It's so beautiful. And again, that, like, the um, art is gorgeous. The style of art. It's not like the original Cinderella drawing, obviously, but I love this. It's so pretty. It's so, I don't know. It, I love it. And, um, of course, you have the carriage here. And hidden behind the carriage is this front backpack right here. It's pretty snug, though, so just beware. But um, the castle itself protrudes upwards. So this is where, like, the backpack ends. And then you see the castle coming up. And then the zipper. I mean, can we take a moment? How beautiful is this little medallion that they uh, added? It's like a little keychain. So pretty. Oh my gosh. Um, let me show you the inside. That is the inside. Gorgeous. That's the castle and it has these little kind of like snowflakes in there. But it is beautiful. I love the colors. I love... The carriage, the castle, everything. It's just perfect. Anyways, which one did you guys love? I, I can't choose between these two. These are just perfect. These are just per Maybe I, I would choose him because, like, since forever, I have been obsessing over him. But <sighs> she's so beautiful. I love the foil detail and everything. But like I said, I did get her off of um, Madbagger. Uh, I have a discount code. I'll put it, like, on the screen and the description box. I think I also have, like, a link. I don't know, whatever. Either way, you get like a percentage off of your order. If you want to use it, it's there. Yes. Oh, and by the way, this is where the plaque is. I was looking all over for the plaque. It's right here. Um, oh, and this one too. Both on the side. The launch flies that I have so far, they've all been like in the front, but these are on the side. 
which I love because it doesn't take away from this beautifulness in the front. So um, I may or may not have more lounge flies coming in the mail as we speak. I told you this this is a new obsession. As if I needed more things to collect. Uh, oh my gosh. Um, but of course, when I get those in, I will be sharing those with you. So stay tuned for those. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.